So when I was researching on what kind of camera to buy, as I was wanting to get into wildlife bird photography and just that and videography in general, one of the things I enjoy doing, following that hobby stuff. And I heard someone on YouTube, again, when I was looking at a particular type of camera, what it was doesn't really matter. And they made this comment that I thought was interesting. The moon is out there. You've seen a thousand shots. Everybody's taking the moon. It's easy. Big deal. Who cares? And a couple of things came to mind. One, that's accurate. Yeah. I'm sure you could do a Google and there's millions of pictures of the moon. We see it all the time. Yet when there is a full moon, when there is a harvest moon, when there is a red moon, yellow moon, whatever those things are that we give names for, we're fascinated by it. It's not the normal that you see. So in that regard, I disagree because it's still cool. There's the other aspect where I get into the philosophical department that, hey, we're alive. We get to see something. There's that angle. And then I think about how often you and I complain online, how often we compare things online. It, it's happened, it happens all the time. It's happening right now. I'm probably complaining right now, yet we do it. So I thought, you know what? Let me just get out there and put the drone up. Now, many will see this footage and there's going to be, well, not a million reactions because there's not going to be a million views, but you get my point. You may look at this video and wonder, where is this located? What's that in the foreground, the background? Another person will be wondering, oh, what drone was that? Someone else will see this and say, wow, this is horrible. Because there is another creator who may have the latest and greatest. There's another creator who will spend hours editing. There's another creator who will throw something on it to make it look cinematic. And then there's me. I wanted to get out a little earlier. Life happens. You have to take care of things. So I didn't get out at the time that I wanted, but I wanted to get out. I didn't want to fire up the forums and bang out on the keyboard. I wanted to do something that I used to do when I was a kid and just mess around. And at the time of this recording, the drone that was used for this, it was, I think, released in 2020, so it's three years old. And right now, there's a current version of this drone out, and the YouTube algorithms are hitting me hard, saying, not literally saying, but hey, you need to get this drone, because there are influencers who are doing the things to promote and I also understand that there are people who have a lot more experience than I do and even as I take this into a safe place I'm still aware and cautious when I'm afraid of heights to be honest with you even here's here's a confession even when I look up at the drone I get a little weird feeling I don't know if anybody else has that maybe that's just because of my fear of heights I also want to be safe making sure I'm not around other people following the rules making sure all those things. But I just want to have fun. And to me, the creative space is about that. And I feel like we lose sense of that. Many are concerned about the specs. Many are concerned about the video quality. Many ask questions that take things to the extreme. Can I do this? Even in this particular space, distance testing. I don't understand that. I guess in some places you don't have to have line of sight. Other places you do, which to me, it was always fascinating. We're, we're dealing with a piece of equipment. We're dealing with human beings. We're dealing with safety. Yet if I'm in one country, I don't have to have line of sight. And if in another, I never understood how we come up with these, these kind of things. And what I want to push across, share on this video and this channel is the idea of the Hamilorian, the having a mess around. And I could have easily done this with some music gear. I could have even made music. And here's the cool thing. I can take this footage and add some music to it, not even talk. This footage I can just store, or I have stored on a hard drive, and then come back to it later. 
And the mess around to me, the reason why I use the Hamalorian, it's basically borrowing off of the different modes and music. And I actually did a little research to find out, okay, what's the origin? Why is it called this? And come to find out, it has to do with regions of Greece. And it goes back like several years. Now, I'm being sarcastic when I say several years, like a very long time ago, Middle Ages or something like that. So again, I did, I did very crude research, so I'm, I'm sure I may be wrong in some spots. But as I'm thinking about that, I'm thinking, wow, really, that's all it is. It's a region. And it's one of these things where humans make these things up. We, we put labels, we make rules. And when I look at the art, the creative space, it's about just your imagination. There should be no rules, in my opinion. And I've heard this along the way from various people that there was a time when we were kids and we just played. You, There was a time you were a child. Think back to when you were a kid. I think about this particular example, this this footage, and I'm thinking, I put myself in, my, in a kid's shoe. If I see this, what's the response that's going to come out of our mouths usually? Let me try. Can I play? Can I do that? It's not, what kind of drone is that? It's not, is that 4K? What kind of LUT did you use? Those are the questions that we ask as adults when life gets in the way, when others get in the way, when we start being influenced in other ways and we forget being a kid. That's when we had the most fun. I think about people who are painters and artists and just throwing paint against the wall. That's what I like to do. I like to mess around, throw stuff against the wall. It may look messy. It may not sound great. Yet, the alternative is, is for me to spend my time in the comment section getting triggered by someone using something that's different than me or seeing a video where someone says this or that and I need to respond to that. The other part is, and I have to admit this, as I get older, I am aware that my time is limited and I want to spend more time playing. I, used, I remember when I was in college taking a course about the different stages we go through at life. And I remember when they got to the reminiscence, excuse me, the reminiscence, the reflective stage that older folks get through. And I thought, wow, that's got to suck. Here I am in my 20s having fun, partying, doing what I got to do, driving fast, driving stupid, just being an idiot. And now here I am looking back at that, what just seemed like yesterday. And it's like, I get it now. And that's just how life works. As much as I would love to, we all do this as, as, as old folks. We try and impart that wisdom on the young kids. Hey, you got to do this, you got to do that. And we don't listen when we're young. I didn't listen. And now here I am, north of 50, in that phase. But for me, it's going back to being a kid. It's going back to, I had Lego set. I didn't care what the brand was. I knew they were cool. I also knew that if I left them out and stepped on it, it was a pain. I wasn't concerned about the brand name. It was, it was having fun. It was exploring. Sure, I probably read the manual, and what I mean by that is I built what it suggested, and then I kind of went off on my own. I started constructing things that were not part of that build guide. And then we got bored with that, and we went on to the next thing. So that is really the message that I'm trying to convey, and I wanted to use this footage because I've been putting a lot of focus on music. It doesn't matter what you're into. Take anything that I'm doing in any video on this channel and swap it with what you want to do because at the end of the day, you and I have a nine-to-five job, and I'm putting that in quotes. Some have multiple. There are a few that don't have that. There are a few who are on the, the edges of, of the, the majority, and we have rules, we have guidelines, we have deadlines, we have challenges, we have all those things that are confined in that. There's, it's called adulting. And then when you're done with that nine to five, some choose to go into the social media comment threads and you can fill in the rest of the story. I prefer to get in the car, take the drone out, and have fun. And what I mean by that is it can be anything. It could be getting the camera out. It could be messing with music gear. You decide what works for you. And just, you don't have to share it. You can just do it on your own, and, and there's great fun. There's great happiness in that. Or if you share it, 
just do what you want to do. If you want to emulate what others are doing, go ahead and do that. If you want to do kind of what I'm doing, embrace the Hamilorian style. Because it's fun. There's no pressure. There shouldn't be any pressure. And know that when you share, someone isn't going to like it. And it doesn't mean what you're doing is bad. It means they have some expectation that they've been influenced and they think it should be this way. And they are not correct. You are correct because you did a thing as opposed to something that was not constructive. You did something that was constructive. More importantly, you did something that was fun. And more importantly than that, you did something that you did as a kid. Because at the end of the day, we only have so much time. And it's up to each and every one of us to spend it in the best way possible. And my job, I feel, is to be that reminder like many others, because of all the noise out there that we are bombarded with. A reminder to be a kid again, to have fun, to have no pressures, no expectations, no judgment. We hear it all the time. I hate adulting. I wish I could be a kid again. You've got everything around you to do that. I mean, handle your responsibilities. Do the things that we have to do to keep a roof over our head, to keep food in the fridge, but also have fun. And hopefully what I put out here inspires you to do that. I ask you not to focus on the quality. I ask you to not focus on the gear, to focus on what was used, to limit the questions about can we do these things. Just try. Do it. Have fun. Experiment. You're not going to break anything. And then the beautiful thing about the Hamalorian is it's a gateway to go anywhere you want. You can stick around here in this mode and just mess around. Or if you desire to learn music theory, if you desire to get your Part 107 and become a real estate drone videographer, if you desire to have your artwork in the Smithsonian, you can continue on various paths to do that. That's the beautiful thing about the Hamilorian. It's not saying you must stay here. Even though I believe this mode is not about rules, you have options. Just like when we were a kid, it's a sandbox. There are many things at your disposal. And then we all grow up and sometimes life gets in the way. We forget about those things that we used to do. I, I have, I'm going through it. <laughs> I did a video where I had an RC car. Loved those as a kid. But life happens. I get it. So I'm rambling on right now, and I'm wasting your time. So after this video, I would like you to ask yourself, when is the last time you did anything fun? If it was recently, hey, tip of the cap to you, continue doing it. If it wasn't, Please, find something that's fun to do. And and again, it doesn't matter what it is. Ignore what I do. Ignore what the next person does. Ignore the quality of the next Peter McKinnon video. Ignore the quality of the next MKBHD. They are doing their own thing, and they're doing a great job. But it's them. You need to be you. And and don't worry. I, I can't stress this enough. Do not worry when someone comes into your space and just says it's not good, it's horrible, you need to be doing this. Again, sound like a broken record, but I can't emphasize it enough. They are wrong, and you are right. And remember that. This is Wabbit. I thank you for your time. Get out there. Have as much fun as humanly possible. Stay safe. Keep your head on a swivel, and I do hope to catch you in another video. And until then, please, take care.